Okay, we're out here at 1155 North Champions. Just finishing up the build, should be done in a week or two. We've got five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with a 40 foot RV bay that has a 16 tall door. Kind of giving you a lay of the land here. You're on a quiet cul-de-sac. You've got a park over there. These neighbors all have a small lake on the back side of them. We have a view of the mountains and we have no direct backyard neighbors. So we'll go on in here. As you come up, you're greeted by this sizable column, stone all the way up to the top of the door height. We've got eight foot tall doors throughout. When you enter the home, you've got 14 foot tall ceilings in the entryway, and that goes to 16 foot out into the main kitchen area and living space. On your right is double French doors. This is one of the bedrooms or an office. Most people don't need five bedrooms, but if you did, it could be used that way. We have the window looking out front. Not all the hardware is on the house yet. This is just to give you the walkthrough. And then we have the closet. This is the only closet that's set up different where we try to utilize different shelving for office type stuff. Okay, looking back straight again, immediately on your left, here is your half bath. Again, we're gonna have quartz countertops throughout, and then we've done a quartz backsplash along the top of every single ca or, uh, countertop that we have. And the toilet will go right there. We're using Kohler brand, extra tall, extra long toilets. Into the first bath or bedroom, sorry, second bedroom, but first real bedroom. Um, this is a Jack and Jill setup. So you have bedroom here, bedroom there, half bath there for the guests, and then a walk through bathroom on the backside so that you can have a private bathroom for your kids or your guests. We have the shelving where we've given you the option to have short shelf, short shelves, or a long shelf, depending on if you have full length dresses, suits, anything like that. Okay, walking into the second bathroom, this is a full bath. We have the countertops here, uh, dual vanity, square undermount sinks. We've got the lighting, the mirrors will be from the Countertop high up to almost the top of the mirror. They'll be pretty sizable. We do have a linen linen closet right here, you know, for your towels and whatnot. We've got a toilet and then we have the shower and that's floor to ceiling tile. Got that texture look to it that we really like. Okay, this passes through into the third bedroom. Again, standing here. The closet layout is identical um, and the, the bedroom sizes are near identical. I think the front one is just a little bit bigger, maybe a foot bigger. This does look out into your neighbor's backyard, but everything is a high privacy window, so you, you don't see a whole lot of them. Fortunately, we are plumbed for central back throughout the house, so you'll see those. That's what those outlets are there. Okay, going down here. Before we get any further up the, the house, I'm gonna turn to the stairs and we're gonna go into the upper bonus room, which is, it has a door on it and it does have its own full bathroom and a dry bar that could be converted to a wet bar pretty easily. My favorite thing about the stairs is if you can see them right here, if I turn the lights on and off, it's automatic night lights. So you'll always have a guy coming up the stairs there. So this door is six foot eight. We do not have an eight foot door here because we have eight foot tall ceilings. So we have a very, very sizable upper bonus room with a fan and a mini split dedicated to this space. So this will be very easy to temperature control, hot or cold, however you would like. My favorite part about this room is that you are going to have an unobstructed view of the mountains no matter what house gets built here, because there will be a house going right there at some point, but you'll have an unobstructed large view of the mountains out there. It's pretty cool when they're snow capped. I could just picture myself watching TV right there, having a nice hot glass of cocoa or something. Again, wet bar. We've done the quartz backsplash all the way around. You are gonna have some floating shelves up here. So it will look very similar to that. The faces will be white. These brown needs to be adjusted. And although we're not putting a mini fridge up here, we've included an outlet in case someone wanted to, 
Otherwise, we'll have face plates over the cabinetry. This is just a spare office, sorry, a spare um, closet for storing things. You know, you could put shelves in here. Um, we can't run it any further back here because the HVAC chase is behind this wall. And then here is the full bathroom. So again, tile flooring, quartz countertops, undermount sinks. You're gonna have a full length mirror there. And then here is your shower. Again, floor to ceiling tile all the way up. And I thought the light, yeah, there it is. Floor to ceiling all the way up. And we did upgrade the fans to be quiet fans. So they're not blaring in your ears the entire time. Okay, and I don't know if you saw for this, this particular fan unit, there is a wall control unit. And then for that um, mini split, there will be a separate remote. Okay, then downstairs. Here is your coat closet. When your guests come over, it's extra deep. Put some shelves in there. Taking your right, we are into the laundry room. We're gonna have a sink right here. And this side is where you'll put your washer and dryer. Again, we've done the quartz countertops all the way around with the backsplash there. And then we do have plenty of shelving for your laundry supplies. Nice tile floor here as well. This does go into a space underneath the stairs. Uh, this will be carpeted and just so serves to be uh, extra storage space. Coming out into the front room, we're gonna split off and go left into the master. Right as you turn into the master, you have a linen closet. And as you enter the master, again, higher ceilings in here. I believe these go to 12 foot in the master. And then we have a recessed area where there's gonna be some lighting up there. We've got the double um, the double crown molding for that to help hide that, that accent lighting. Huge privacy window. And then the view from the master is gonna look out onto this extensive covered patio. There's an irrigation ditch right here, so nothing can ever be built there. And there's a golf course over there. And there is a door to get out onto the patio of the master. Okay, into the master bath. We have the toilet room right as you walk in. And then right here, we're actually gonna have this tub will be freestanding right in front of this uh, Rita glass window, this opaque window. This is gonna be a huge shower. It'll be a full glass, frameless all the way around. And it will cut down the center of this tile right here. That'll be installed in about two weeks. And then we have an extra large bench back there. This will be a hanging head so you can pull it off and sit down and, and still have it on you. And then this will be a rain head right here. We do have a towel warmer already installed. So as you get out of your bathtub, you can have a nice hot towel. And then right here, we've got the dual vanity, uh, toe kick lighting, upper lighting, double cabinets. Um, and then the, the mirrors will actually go over the tile. So you're gonna have this effect of the tile coming out from behind the mirrors all the way up to where the light fixtures are gonna be. Into the master closet. We've designed it to be kind of a his hers. So this entire closet's hers. <laughs> and we've got plenty of shelf space here. Uh, pants, long hanging, single hanging, or double hanging. Sorry, short hanging and long hanging for clothes, or dresses, stuff like that. We have shoe box. And then we have jean holders. And then this side is more designed to be his side of the closet, same thing. We do have some doubles there, um, some shoe spots, and then some jean holders right there. And of course, one of your cross, but your second crawl space access vent is over here. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, the entrance into the main living space. So we're gonna have a nest Nest Lerming thermostat right here. And then as you walk in, we have the crown molding all throughout. And then it drops to 14 foot over the kitchen. This is the great room. We have a beautiful real wood mantle with a, a large hearth for seating. We have a full slab island. You're gonna have a, a huge bay for cabinets. And if you notice, the cabinets are on this side of the island as well. Um, everything in here is top of the line. We've got Thermador appliances. 20 inch hanging pendants, Kohler farmhouse style drip sink. 
with the air button. We are gonna have a mini fridge right here, which is sitting over there. Dishwasher right here. It's the only thing that will be Bosch is the dishwasher. Thermidor cooktop. We've got this, this tile pattern going right now. So not only do we have the quartz coming up as the backsplash, we also have the backsplash. It'll be herringbone pattern through here, right, in, right up to the bottom of our custom exhaust uh, cover here. Coming around, you're gonna have a trash pull out right there, as well as over there. And then right here, you're gonna have three separate ovens, the microwave oven, the first double oven, the second double oven, these are 30 inches wide. You do have the dining room light that still needs to be adjusted. It's a little off center for now. And then you have the view right here. Looking out into your backyard. Okay. Coming over here, since we're here, one of the main features too about this back patio is this 12 foot slider. We have nicer hardware to put on it once we're close to completion. It comes with the plastic hardware that's on there now. But we have this step out patio. It does have a step down, but it has a huge grand feeling. As you come underneath, we did that. We lowered this so that you'd be protected from the sun. There's an outlet there in case you wanna put a TV or a heater or anything else. We've already ran the Cat5 to it. Again, this comes out and looks all the way around out to the golf course over there. All of your utilities are over here on the side. You've got your mini split and then your large AC box. Nothing on the side of the houses but rock. And then a privacy fence from the neighbor. So you're not looking directly into the air yard. Okay. Finishing up the tour. We have the drop zone when you come in from the garage where you can kick off your shoes. We'll get out to the garage in just a second. This is your pantry. Not only do we have a ton of cabinet space, but also we have a full length butter, butler pantry. So as you come in from the garage, you can drop your groceries right here. Countertop again, 16 inches wide all the way around. Full course countertop with the raised backsplash all the way up. Lots of space in this pantry into the garage. We have a oversized two car garage with windows to start. Your utilities, um, your, your water heater, your HVAC are gonna be enclosed. Your central vac system is gonna be right there. There, we, it is already pre-plumbed for a water softener. So, you know, this is a large garage in and of itself. And then we have that 40 foot RV bay. That's already pre-plumbed with gas in case you wanna put a, um, a heater in here at some point, and there's a spot to put on a separate thermometer and temperature control everything. And this is it. A lot of space, very bright in this room. And uh, we will be epoxying the floors. And if we got an offer before it was totally completed, that'll be the absolute last thing that gets done. Um, we would be open to letting a buyer potentially pick the color. So there's the HVAC system, the chase going up. And then that's going to be for the water heater and the water softener. The water heater is going to be a 75 gallon. We went with a bigger one to provide enough. And this is actually going to be your front door. It will be stained a darker wood color, but this is going to be the absolute last thing that goes on also along with that, that epoxy floor, just because contractors like to beat things up. So I'm going to end with a, a view of the kitchen for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you'd like a private tour, please give me a call.